Future Shock Wrestling returned to the Longfield Suite in front of a sold out crowd. Six huge matches, a Future Shock title was on the line and so much more. Find out all about it and the upcoming trophy tournament on this episode of Future Shock Access. Welcome one, welcome all to this brand new episode of Future Shock Access. Can you feel that in the air? The seasons are changing and we are into trophy tournament season. It's the tournament that can change the complexion of the entire company in a single night. Before we go any further, let's take a look at everything that happened at Future Shock Underground. In the opening contest, one half of the undisputed Future Shock Tag Team Champions, Delicious Danny Hope, accompanied as ever by the It Girl Melanie Price, overcame a furious deadly Damon Lee, who for once was not accompanied by the manager of champions Chris Egan. Ryan Hendricks was keen to put the uprising back on the path to victory, but Underground was not set to be his night, as he fell by submission to Sexy Kev and his brand new hold. After declaring his intent to not only enter, but win the Future Shop Trophy tournament, Liverpool's number one, Zach Gibson, took a step closer to that goal by defeating Charlie Garrett via tap out. Though he did need to use an illegal object to take the advantage. Mark Massa continued to build momentum in Future Shock with a huge win over Future Shock original Sam Bailey. Wonderland, the team of Noah, Henry T. Grodd, and Penny Dreadful scored a win over Ashton Smith, Sonna Durson and the Future Shock Women's Champion Lana Austin. And in our main event, the challenger Xander Cooper came up short in his attempt to wrest the Future Shock title back from the grip of T-Bone. Also, the Uprising seem to have turned their back on their former leader. What can this mean for Xander Cooper and for Future Shock Wrestling? <laughs> What in God's name was that? You knocking me in my ass and you lot, you couldn't stick to the plan. That's too many damn times in a row that you have messed this up. The plan! We followed your plan. To the T. It's not our fault T-Bone chose to kick out. Is it? No, 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 no. I gave you a specific order. The three of you. Get the job done! You're out! You need to watch yourself, son. You need to remember, you wouldn't be anywhere in this company without me. Don't make an enemy out of me. But if you guys want to go it alone, then fine. one half of the undisputed Future Shock Tag Team Champions scored a huge victory in his return to the Longfield Suite for the first time since the table, ladders and chairs wore at the 11th anniversary show. Notable by his absence was the other half of the Tag Team Champions, Joey Hayes, still feeling the effects of that battle. So Gov G-Man stood by with Danny and with the It Girl Melanie Price for an update on Hot Stuff Hayes. What an exciting opening match we just witnessed. Underground 13 saw the winner of the opening match, delicious Danny Hope, 
one half of the tag team champions. Now, what the people at home want to know is, what's the latest status on your tag team partner, Joey Hayes? You know, G-Man, Joey had a really bad injury, but he's on the mend, he's doing well, and doctor's orders, he'll be back pretty soon. Fantastic news. Now, we want to know about your opponent, Deadly Damon Lee. You were victorious in that opening match there. Oh, I was victorious. Did you hear that crowd? Did you hear the whole of press switch? All the tassel maniacs rising, chanting delicious, chanting for me and Melanie. Did you hear them? That's what drove us onto victory. That's what allowed me to drop deadly Damon Lee with the Elton bomb for the win. It is an uncertain time for the uprising. Are there even still the uprising? We don't know at this point. One thing for certain though, is that when the Sexy Express rolled into the Longfield Suite, it rolled out with a victory. Let's go to G-Man, who stood by with the one, the only, Sexy Kev. Thank you, Chris Brooker. Standing with me is the winner of that singles match. Now, Sexy Kev, you beat Ryan Hendricks here tonight at Underground 13. What are your thoughts? G-Man, tonight the Sexy Express rolled once again into Presswich. And I made Ryan Hendricks tap out. And all I gotta say is victory is sweet. I'm so sorry. <laughs> it's not your fault. You're not to blame. But something is coming. Gentlemen, understand. We do not begrudge your resistance. No, no. We admire it. But understand as well that you cannot stand before what is coming. Welcome to Wonderland. <laughs> <laughs> An amazing opening match here at Underground 13. Standing with me is the runner-up, Deadly Damon Lee. Now, with all due respect, regardless of what happened here tonight, the folks at home probably want to know the status on your manager, the, the manager of champions, Chris Egan. Chris has been having a bit of a nightmare, right? But rest assured, he's on the mend and he will be back soon here at Future Shock Wrestling, guiding me to victory. And now, regarding your match against Mr. Danny Hope as you came runner-up that time. Zach Gibson has his sights set firmly on the Future Shock Trophy Tournament and eventually on the Future Shock Championship. At Future Shock Underground, he went one-on-one -on -one with Charlie Garrett in a rematch from a battle that took place at Future Shock Uproar earlier this year. Once again, Liverpool's number one was successful but this time around, he had to dig a little deeper into his bag of tricks. Let's go now to G-Man, stood by with Zach Gibson. Zach Gibson, what were you doing with that weapon? What was I doing with that weapon? I'll tell you exactly what I was doing with that weapon. That weapon, Charlie Garrett, actually had the cheek to step in the ring with Liverpool's number one again. And Charlie, I warned you, lad. I even give you a heads up. I had the common courtesy to tell you exactly what I was going to do. Now nobody, nobody is talking about Jack Gallagher anymore. No, because I've silenced every single last critic. Future Shock Wrestling have lined them all up. Ashton Smith, Danny Hope and now Charlie Garrett. And Liverpool's number one has knocked them all down. Wrestling and winning tournaments and winning titles is all about momentum. It's all about being on form. Nobody in Future Shock Wrestling is in better form right now than Liverpool's number one, Zach Gibson. That trophy has my name written all over it. So those Mank fans, they can chant, you tapped out, all they want. Because when I take that trophy back to the capital of culture, they're going to be chanting something very, very different. Because I'm Liverpool's number one. And I never walk alone. And that's everything for this edition of Future Shock Access. Thank you so much for taking the time to join us. While you're here, don't, don't go anywhere. 
take a moment, like the video, subscribe to our channel if you haven't already done so, so make sure you're the first to see all of our content right here on YouTube. Uh, follow us on Twitter. Like our page on Facebook to be the first to see all the announcements that are for our upcoming shows, for the matches, for everything else that happens in this fantastic company. But above all else, go now to futureshockwrestling.co.uk because in a few short days, this Sunday, Future Shock's trophy tournament kicks off with four huge quarterfinal matches. Four quarterfinal matches to determine who will now be the number one contender for the Future Shock Championship with a championship opportunity they can use any time they see fit. The landscape could change in a heartbeat. So get your tickets. Be at Future Shock Uproar this Sunday at the Stockport Masonic Guild Hall. Until then, I've been Chris Brooker. Thank you for joining us, and we'll see you on the next Future Shock Access.